March 29th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Um, more bad news out of Fukushima. Of course, I'm sure as most of you know by now, um, they're coming out with, they are finding plutonium in the soil and um, the situation just intensifies. Um, again, I will have several links below um, in this situation. Uh, these are the times, aren't they? Uh, we've got a report of a dead whale washes up on Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach, Virginia. A dead whale approximately 35 to 40 feet in length was found dead upon the beach in Sandbridge on Sunday morning. Let's see what kind of whale it is. The whale is known as a sea say whale and is not very common for the area, although they do show up from time to time in local waters. And they're going to do an autopsy. Dead fish litter beach at Alabama Pier, Gulf Shores, Alabama. Um, they were everywhere. And again, we still have that oil spill going on in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, not but a few miles away from the, the big one last year. Um, in India, yellow rain in Herbai causes curiosity and concern. Uh, again, in India, they had some yellow rain with yellow deposits, and they're saying it might be from um, heavy industry in the area, something in the water. And over to the extinction protocol. Uh, hundreds of dead fish wash up on Alabama beaches. Burma shaken back to back by natural disasters. Thousands now feared dead. Uh, Burma or Myanmar. Of the 7,000 fishermen that were swept into the Adaman Sea during a tropical storm on March 14th through 16th, a total of 3,374 have now been rescued, according to the source, a Marine and Fishing Association. Uh, the remaining 3,700 are still missing. Nearly two weeks since 400 fishing vessels were overturned and destroyed in 70 mile an hour winds. Little hope remains of anyone else surviving. So Burma or Myanmar, which it's now known as, um, it's just one disaster after another. World's oceans threatened by growing danger of a volcanic explosions. And I've been going on about this all year. Uh, between 75 and 80 percent of all that volcanic activity on Earth takes place at deep sea mid-ocean ridges. Most of these volcanoes produced um, effusive lava flows rather than explosive eruptions, both because the levels of mag. mag Magmatic gas, which fuel the explosions, are made up of a variety of components, including, most importantly, CO2. Here we go. Um, tend to be low because the volcanoes are under a lot of pressure from surrounding water. Of course, they're deep underwater. Over about the last 10 years, however, geologists have nevertheless speculated, based on the presence of volcanic ash in certain sites, that explosive eruptions can also occur in deep-sea volcanoes. But no one has been able to prove it until now by using an ion microbe, blah, blah, blah. Okay, off the coast of Oregon, um, they did this test and the work shows that the release of CO2 from the deeper mantle of the Earth's atmosphere, at least in certain parts of the mid-ocean's ridge, much higher than previously imagined. So, again... How are they going to put a carbon tax on volcanoes? Oh, and we've got a fear piece about the Mideast crisis. Not my cup of tea, but uh, definitely something to pay attention to. Solar activity shifting into overdrive. Is something accelerating the solar cycle? yesterday. Over to Disaster Alert Network. 
Uh, they've got a report death toll rise from Japan earthquake. Tsunami rises to 10,091. There are still tens of thousands of people missing. Uh, flash flood in Ireland. Apparently, um, main water main broke and they had to abandon about 30 houses. And uh, a lot of people are without water because it was like one of the big lines. Like they were saying, a quarter of a million gallons an hour flowing through it. Uh, flash flood in Australia. Uh, Northern Queensland communities are bracing for thunderstorms, torrential rains, and flash floods. So, uh, ongoing situation in Australia. They've just been getting hammered nonstop for oh, a couple, three months now, right? And uh, there's the report of radioactive iodine-131 measured at uh, 1150 times above normal level in the sea north of Japan's nuclear plant. I wonder why. And they're just now fessing up to, well, there might have been some runoff. Um, the Japanese um, electric company um, explanation guys are just comedy. They think we're idiots. And uh, flash flood in... Indonesia, at least 300 people were stranded after a flash flood hit five villages. Uh, so they're getting some heavy rain. That's about it for the um, updates for today. Again, like I said, um, a lot of bad news coming out of Japan. Um, the, the food situation still, the water situation. Um, a lot of people are trying to get the heck out of Dodge and can't. And um, not to mention the damage that's happening to the Pacific Ocean as we speak, the plutonium in the environment, and what that means. And uh, I know a lot of people are angry and upset right now, and, and you have every right to be. But uh, we need to really pay attention to what's going on right now and keep our heads. So, until I see you again, enjoy while you can. Thanks, everybody.